Benny? Oh, no, thanks. <laughs> oh, no, would you pass me the egg roll? No, really, I don't want any. <laughs> Benny, what's wrong with you tonight? You're a million miles away. Oh, I'm fine. I'm, uh, uh, I'm just not hungry. I was in the mood for Chinese food. <laughs> this is Chinese food. Oh, then I don't know what I'm in the mood for. Well, where has the time gone to? I mean, <laughs> I, I'm just going to go upstairs. And no, 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 really, I want to watch TV tonight. I'm very lucky. Perhaps I will catch that commercial with the cat cha-cha. <laughs> okay. Um, Benny, you want to bring the glasses over here? Benny, are you all right? Who knows? Who cares? I do. Come on, what's going on? You can tell me. Look, Brenda, it's no use. There's nothing you can do. What happened? Brenda, every day I go to the same luncheonette for lunch. There's this guy, Mario. He owns the place. I'm there every day, Brenda. Five days a week for the last five years. Except for today. What happened today? Today... Today I got there my usual time. There's a mob of people inside, but I couldn't get in because the doors were locked. I figure, hey, I'm starting to get worried here. I mean, these are strange times. I figure, well, maybe Mario's in trouble. Maybe he's being held hostage by 50 Hells Angels disguised as normal people. <laughs> Just a banging on the door. Yeah, that's really brave. No, Mario finally comes to the door and tells me, go away. They're having a party for the 30th anniversary of the place. And it's just for the regular customers. And I can't come in. I believe it. You never notice me, Brenda. I mean, imagine, I mean, every day for the past five years, you never saw me. Oh, Benny. That is, that's awful. But hey, you'll show him. You'll never go to that luncheonette again. Yeah. And will they be upset? <laughs> right, it's not just today. Today just made me realize something about myself I've always known. I'm invisible, Brenda. I always have been. I work on that bridge. Same people drive by, day in, day out. You know what I get? I'll tell you what I get. I wrote it down. I counted. 648 people call me Mac. 732 call me Buddy. 2,000 don't even look my way. Okay, one nice guy calls me Americano. Uh, Benny, hey, you are special, you know? Why? Only here, Brenda, only here. Benny, look, I don't know what yet, but I promise you, I'm gonna make you feel as important as I think you are. You really think you can do that? I'm sure gonna try. Um, What do you think? If I had done that to Mario, I bet he would have let me in. Hey, sorry I'm late. I was having coffee with my old buddy, Ed Riley. Hey, Mr. D, this Ed, like, uh, isn't he the guy that used to work here? Yeah, yeah, he's in town for a few days. Uh, lives on the coast now. Makes clothes for, uh, for Redford and Streisand. Newman. Oh, like, yeah. like you're putting me on, like he really knows Robert Redford. Well, just his size. He does wardrobe for a wax museum. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific, brilliant, funny guy. Morgan Stern, you would love him. Yeah, I'm sure I would, Jack. Yeah, yeah. How's, uh, Thursday? Uh, oh, no, Jack, no blind dates, no thank you. Morgan Stern, no. the guy saved my life, huh? Jack, what do you on. say? Well, really, what did he do for oh, you? What's the difference? The point is, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for him. What do you say, huh? No, Jack. No, I, I won't ask you again. Thing. I won't ask you again. I promise. Jack, I hate it when you beg. Please. Please. <laughs> so I tell him yes, okay? I already did. <laughs> we'll pick you up at 7.30. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hiya, Ro. Oh, hiya, Brenda. Okay, just one second, and then I'll be ready to go to lunch. Hey, listen, I got a great idea. You want to order in? Sure. Great. Why not? What do you feel like having? Oh, I don't know. Take your coat off and stay a while. Now we're on. Brenda, you're gonna roast. 
But if I take it off, you're only going to criticize me. What? Uh, you promise that you won't get mad? I promise. Okay. Why should I get mad? Um, huh? <laughs> Ma'am, you the new school mom? <laughs> well, uh, I'm wearing this for Benny. Why, he won't wear it for himself, huh? <laughs> no, 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 Rhoda. I'm meeting him right after work. Ah, I get it. You're wearing that so that he could pick you out of the crowd. <laughs> this is serious, Rhoda. Benny's going through a very rough time. Now, he's feeling insignificant, not important. And I'm trying to change that. How? By dressing like Minnie Pearl? <laughs> no, 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 no. See... I was talking to some of the girls at the bank, and Ellen, you know, the one in safe deposit boxes? With the big teeth. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, she had a similar problem with her husband, and then she got this book called How to Be a Different Woman in Every Room. Uh-huh. <laughs> Is it for your square dance room? <laughs> Don't laugh. Well, I think this could work. It made Ellen's husband feel very special. It did. See... The book says that a woman should be everything to a man. You know, a friend, a lover, girl next door, a, uh, a sizzling, sensual, seductress. You're not supposed to do that one until the second week. <laughs> anyway, anyway, the whole idea is, is that if you're totally dedicated to him, mm -hmm. see, it makes him feel like he's the most important man on earth. Mm -hmm. I still do not understand why you're wearing that dress. Well, well, I'm... I'm just trying to be a little more womanly. <laughs> Brenda, I can't believe what I'm hearing, really. You know, and if it wasn't so funny, I'd be mad. I mean, do you really think that, that, that a roughly dress makes you more of a woman? You are mad. I, t I know it. You, you're I'm mad. not mad. A woman never gets mad. <laughs> hey. Hi, Brenda. Uh, Jack, listen, maybe you can help. Yeah. Uh... Listen, what, uh, what little things do you like a woman to do for you? Well, uh, I like a woman to be aggressive, you know? I mean, without me even asking you, I like, a, I like her to come up behind me and rub my back and put my head in her hands and kiss me on the lips. Full. <laughs> I love that. You do, huh? Yeah. And if I know it, it's even better. <laughs> Can I get anything for you? Well, you sure you don't want Brenda to whip up something for you before your date gets here? It'd be no trouble. No. Thanks a lot, Benny. I have this quirk. I limit myself to one dinner per evening. <laughs> hey, well, listen, it's really nice of you to let us use your kitchen tonight. Sure. I mean, if I try to toss a salad of mine, it hits the wall. <laughs> okay, I have a wonderful dessert for you. Rhoda, I would marry your sister even if I didn't know her. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Brenda, you sure you don't mind pampering me like this? Oh, Benny, it is my pleasure. Then call me what you've been calling me. Mm, Benny. <laughs> what? I didn't quite... Mm, Benny. Benny, Benny. What? Honey Bunny. I love it when she says that. Honey bunny. <laughs> now, now, say the whole thing. Blind date number 3006. Enter and sign in, please. I hope he's nice, Ro. I'll be happy if he's wearing shoes. Hi. Are you Rhoda? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> yes, I am. That would just spell out, I mean, a momentary madness. Come well, Jack said you were a little wacko. Oh, he did. <laughs> Say and they just kind of borrowed the kitchen for the evening, you know. Hey, yeah. Want a weenie? <laughs> oh, uh, no thanks. I had an apple in the elevator. <laughs> I'll get my cake. Hey, sit. Hey, Brenda, want a coffee over here? Sure, sure. <laughs> what do you do, Benny? I'm in Bridges. <laughs> oh, uh, dentist. Paul Booth. Wow. How about you? I make costumes for a movie star wax museum out in California. Wow, I bet you get to see them naked and everything. <laughs> okay, here you go. Oh. Brenda. 
Brenda, how do I take my coffee? I don't know. You never drink it. Oh, then this will be okay. <laughs> okay, I'm all set. You look very nice. Oh. You know, you look terrific and waxed. Oh, you're too kind. <laughs> Jump two, jump two, jump two. Nice, son. Go, go. No, no, wait, go back, go back, go back. Oh. Ed. Hey, Ed. Oh, would you mind waiting downstairs for just a moment? I have something I need to do. Sure. Listen, it was nice to have met both of you. Ed. Huh? For the elevator. Oh. <laughs> TV went dead. Benny, would you please watch TV in the bedroom? There's no TV in the bedroom. Go anyway. <laughs> uh, I, I like your date, Rhoda. I mean, any guy who likes apples can't be all that bad. <laughs> I myself, I like the uh, green ones better than the red ones. They're a little sour, crunchy, you know. Are you dirt? <laughs> are you an insect? Brenda, I mean, what are you? You're like some groveling robot running around doing something. You read that stupid book. And, look at you. I mean, hair by Dairy Queen, fashions by Bo Peep. <laughs> What's wrong? Why is you not being yourself, Brenda? I mean, for heaven's sake, that silly stuff was telling you to cook and clean and run around and Listen, serve. did it ever occur to you that I might like to cook and clean and serve? No. Well, I might. <laughs> I mean, I do. It, it, it's not so bad. It is very bad, Brenda. It's ridiculous what hey, you're doing. Hey, hey, I happen to have a great guy who loves I know, me. I know, I know. But where is it written now? It's wrong to want to make him happy. Nowhere. But where is it written that you have to become a non-person to make Benny happy? I mean, what you're doing is just stupid, Brenda. Stupid, I'm telling no, you. Yeah, I know a lot of women who would disagree with you. Name one. Benny's mother. Her life's devoted to serving others. She's a waitress, Brenda. The woman is a waitress. Okay, okay, okay. Eleanor Roosevelt. She pushed that man everywhere. Now you're talking crazy. Right. Rhoda, I make a point that's crazy. You make a point that is brilliant. No, wait. You listen to me, Rhoda. If I am old enough to get married, I am old enough to cook. <laughs> Look, I don't want to... Two words of advice. Wise up. Oh, yeah. yeah? Well, I got two words for you. Mind your own business. <laughs> Jack, I really am. I'm just upset. I had a big fight with Brenda last night. I'm not over it yet. And do you know she actually told me to mind my own business? I don't know what to do. Mind your own business. <laughs> you don't know what she's been doing, Jack. She's turned into a different person. She read this stupid book, and now she's waiting on Benny hand and foot. And last night she did everything but shine his sneakers. Augustine, well, it's her business. Let her run her own life. But how can I stand there and watch my sister becoming a missing person? Easy, okay. just do it. But first call and, ma and make up to her, huh? Or you'll be a pain in the neck all day. But, Jack, what about the way she's acting? I mean, hey, it's... Mr. D, like the theater just called and they want to pick up those night and shining armor suits today. Okay, good. they're in the back. Uh, bring them on, huh? August, you got to understand people, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, well, some men like their women that way. <laughs> this might come as a surprise to you, but uh, I happen to worship the female. Yeah. I mean, personally, uh... Personally, I can't get enough of a woman. You know, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I would be happy, I'd be absolutely happy to spend the rest of my life with the perfect woman, the right woman, you know? I mean, somebody that I could make happy and, and then take care of. Jack, I never knew that you thought this way. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to me, to me, a woman, a woman should be placed on a pedestal. Somebody, I need a uh, hand. I mean, to yeah. I mean, to August, to me, they're, they're symbols, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. Symbols. I mean. Symbols of, of everything that's good. I mean, I'm not talking just that, that, that I admire their beauty. I mean, I'm talking about sensitivity. 
understanding and I mean, think of all the great women, uh, Mr. all the Dean. great. Sorry, no can do. Jack, this is impossible. This box. Women. <laughs> what I have for you. Oh, flowers. And my laundry. Oh. <laughs> the flowers are for treating me so nice, and the laundry's to cash in on it. Well, I'm sorry you had to work, Benny. I did my wash last night. Oh, well, that's all right. I'll, I'll do it myself with some cold and personal laundry. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'll do it. Thanks. Uh, what's for dinner? There is none. What well, happened? But you made dinner every other night this week. Oh, I get it. This is another one you need surprises, right? Like the other night when we played Love Slave of the Amazons? <laughs> well, no, I tell you, Benny, I'm all out of surprises. As a matter of fact, I think I went overboard on this whole thing. I'm feeling like a total fool. Rhoda was right to yell at me. <clears throat> Why? What'd you do wrong? Okay. See... I was trying to follow the instructions in this book. I've done it for the last 10 days. I can't keep it up. Oh, gee, that's too bad. <laughs> Day 11 sounds real good. <laughs> I'll never know what you look like in flippers. Yeah, I'm sorry. The book just isn't for me. I'm supposed to be a different woman in every room. I only got one room. So I guess I'm stuck with being just one person. Me. I got a confession to make too, Brenda. I really enjoyed all this attention you were giving me. When all the games are over, I'm still the invisible man. Oh, see, forget the games. They don't work. They don't. I can't be a fantasy person. You can't either. You just have to find what it is you like about yourself. Oh, well, I got good skin. <laughs> Can't take credit for that. It runs in the family. Uh, come on, Benny. There's got to be more than that. Think hard, Benny, and see, what you do is you write down everything that you like about yourself. And not just skin. I'm talking inside. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like character traits. Oh, yeah. All right. That's good. Benny, that's really great. Yeah. You're kind, giving, witty, loving, pretty. Pretty? You think you're pretty? I'm not me, you. Me? What am I doing on your list? I got all these things describe you. I thought if I wrote down all the things I like about you, I could find one that applied to me. Oh, Benny, this is supposed to make you feel better. Oh, yeah. Right. Wait a minute, I... Brenda, I do feel better. Yeah? Wait a minute. I feel great. Brenda, look at this list here. I'm a terrific guy. Wait, wait, Benny, I don't... You just said all those words describe me. Yeah, right, right, but do you love me? Oh, Benny, I love you, I yeah, love you. Yeah, yeah, well, if someone as wonderful as you loves me, then I gotta have something going for me. Either that or you're nuts. <laughs> and it's not on the list. Well, I you were wrong. right. I was totally right. No, no, no. no, no. I was right. right. And I was, you were I right. Really wrong. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna go first. How come you always gotta go first? Okay, okay, you go. Okay. Rhoda, I'm sorry. Your turn. That's it? <laughs> you were going first. Okay. In the first place, I'm going. You have no reason to be sorry. I'm the one that should be sorry. From now on, I butt out. I mean, who am I to, to tell you who to be? No, no, it's... Rhoda, no, listen. I, I knew what I was doing was wrong. I did, but no. I didn't want to hear it from you. I wanted you to understand. Back me up. I 
was really mixed up. Yeah. And, uh, and now? Now? Yeah. Well, I, I'm through with that stuff. Really, I am. So, would you be interested in a nice ruffled dress? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really so happy that he... Yeah. Oh, wait, hold. I would be happy to hear that if it were my business. Which it is not. No, no, Rhoda, Rhoda, you're my sister. I want you to keep keep sticking your nose in my business like you always do. <laughs> really? No. Well, Brenda, to tell you the truth, I won't be doing that so much anymore. I mean, that's just the way it's going to be. If you and Benny get married... Yeah. Yeah, sure. So? It's not going to be the same. It just isn't, you know? And, uh, that's life, you know? Change. Mm. Moving on. It's what they call growth, baby, mm. you know? If you ask me, this gross stuff is highly overrated. Oh, friend, I love you very oh, much. Oh, I thought you had it. Yeah. It's okay, your brush is off. Listen, Rona, now that we're talking again, can I ask you a personal question? Yeah. Got any bleach? I've been asked that before, Brenda. The answer is yes. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, yeah. Cute shorts. Running? No, no, they're Benny's. Benny's? Yeah. Uh, what are you doing with Benny's, uh, things there, Brenda? Oh, I'm washing them. Uh-huh. I mean, uh, he brought up his laundry and I'm, uh... Brenda, do you see right that you've created a monster? Do you see that? He's expecting you to do all no, these services no, for him. No. You work at the bank all day. No. I mean, why should you be doing his laundry? Brenda, I don't get it. I really think it's wrong. No, I do. What have he ever done for you? Well, right now he's upstairs getting my dinner. <laughs> Benny's making yes. this. That is not. Oh, oh, I wish I could suck it out. It's my fault. My big mouth. I was talking, distracting you. I really, I'm... Oh, gosh, yeah. I'm sorry. I really love this sweatshirt. Oh, boy. Well, maybe I could just spend the rest of my life down here. Oh, Brenda, I'm really sorry, but, you know... Your relationship with Benny has got to be based on total honesty. So what you have to do is go upstairs and just tell him the truth. Yeah, the truth. Yeah, right. I mean, right. you got to tell him exactly what happened here. A killer shark surfaced in the washing machine and ate the <laughs>